What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham, what's up? I missed you guys so much. We have been up to some stuff all the way up in here. Uh, what we've got, and this is, I think, one of the big reasons I wanted to plant corn is just to see it just surrounding the farm. And, and it being across the road helps greatly. But, oh gosh, there's a bug in here. I hit my microphone. No! <laughs> IRL problems. Oh, bug. I'm good. <laughs> we've got corn. Not only do we have corn, we've got three fields full of it. But it's not ready to harvest just yet. But I will say we do have one crop that is ready to harvest. we got to stop real fast. Take a, just a quick little shooty break. Don't ask about the pot has nothing to do with anybody all right how bad are we gonna suck at shooting basketball today pretty bad all right <laughs> had to get it out of the way i apologize for not seeing you guys in a few days it has been what two days three days since our last lono video we've had so much going on with work and and everything that i was i've been trying to get done uh, it has just been an absolute nightmare trying to get videos done the past few days. I do apologize. We are back. We're right here. I missed you. I missed you. I missed you. Oh, man. Welker Farms finally came out. Came out today. If you have not gone and checked it out, make sure you get it. Download it and enjoy it because it is a heck of a map. I mean... A heck of a map is very big very large and for the first time that I can remember we are doing all American maps right now we got Westbridge we've got Lone Oak and we're gonna be soon taking our Lone Oak, or our uh, Westbridge videos to you got it right is that gonna open yep oh no <laughs> we're going to be taking our Westbridge all the way out and we're going to be hanging out on the Welker farm. We're going to be out there and it is going to be a good time. I have one concern uh, about, oh yeah, trailers definitely killing the grass. So it's going to kill the crop. So I now have two concerns. Um, <laughs> getting through this gate. I can do it with the tractor, and I'm confident that I can. I know I can. I am extremely unconfident about doing it with the harvester. Real, real... I, I'm not sure I could explain to you how unconfident I am about taking this harvester and driving it through that area we're gonna try i don't think it's gonna work i don't know if the harvester is not gonna fit or the header is not gonna fit i think the header is just a little bit wider than the harvester itself and it is well no about the same size looks like they're made for each other let's find out but yes we will be taking all of our stuff from oh by the way, sunflowers are ready to be harvested. <laughs> uh, we will be taking everything from Westbridge Hills. And then we'll be moving it over to Welker Farms. Two W's. I'm trying to get my head around it. It's kind of freaking me out. Uh, okay, I think this gate is the same size as the other one. So if it fits through here. Uh, nope, that one's way bigger. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh so what I'm thinking is we're going to take some stuff, not everything. We're going to take a planter, a uh, cultivator, that, you know, a, uh, so we'll fit. Oh, it looks like it will. I just need to line it up right. Yeah. Okay. Dig it. I dig it. So that's what we're going to be up to with, with that. Now. This map will continue, uh, and it will be our... Oh, 
gonna turn on from there. There we go. Uh, it will continue to be our afternoon map. I cannot guarantee that we will have videos every day with this map. I want to, but the thing is, with with the way work is and the way my schedule is, sometimes having a consistent evening and, and afternoon map just doesn't always work with my schedule. And I want it to, and I want to do it for you guys. Uh, I care less about doing it for myself. I want to do it for you all. Um, by the way, we hit 300 subs. Yeah, I have not announced that in any videos so far. I think I uploaded five today. Still haven't, still haven't announced that we hit 300. So we did hit 300 subs. Thank you guys so much. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Uh, if you comment on any videos, if you have any questions, uh, know that your comment or your question will be heard. I read every comment that I get, and I respond to most of them. And actually, <laughs> actually, I just got a comment now. And so I think, just to prove my point here, let's uh, let's turn that off. So Eric has commented on a video. Which video did he comment on? The He commented on the uh, gold video I just posted. Said, yes sir, will all my money I have built up transfer with me when I go another farm? No, unfortunately, it will stay in the farm you are at. So, uh, it will not transfer, unfortunately. You kind of have to, if you're on console, best way to do that is with money cheat boxes and that's that's kind of that there's there's really no other way to do it other than money cheat boxes and that kind of thing so see i just I literally got a, a thing right there i could could not have been more perfect timing <laughs> so like i said Wilker farms is out i know i'm talking about that on lone oak right now but hey go check it out check this map out too play both do both maps. I know it is really hard when you're not when you're not doing videos. It's really hard to keep up with more than one map. At least I found that way because I would get so just invested, not only emotionally but just physically. Just all my attention went to one map, and I would just play the heck out of that map. And then when something else came along, I would usually check it out. Um, before I started doing videos, it was really hard for me to enjoy crazy maps. Or not crazy maps, but it was really hard for me to enjoy mod maps. And doing videos and doing the YouTube stuff and that kind of thing has really opened my eye to mod maps. And I've really enjoyed playing them. Lone Oak has been fantastic because it's given me a nice challenge. And... Westbridge Hills has been awesome because it's a map that everyone knows. It is it is familiar, as it were. And so, it's, it's just really cool, really nice and easy. I'm going to miss Westbridge Hills. I'm not going to delete the game save. Uh, I will be deleting the map from my mods. Just so I can kind of open some room up a little bit. <laughs> it's get, getting kind of crowded. Uh, but it uh, it's definitely a game save I'm going to keep. And I'm not going to be getting rid of it. So do not worry. Westbridge Hills will still be around. I think we'll still be playing a little bit of multiplayer, me and Mustang Man. We both love that map to death. So we want to make sure that we continue to stay on it. Now, I've gotten a headland. And we've got about 50% now. I think right at 50%. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're just going to continue our way around. And then whenever it's whenever we fill up, we'll grab our tipper over there and we'll do it to it.
All right, it looks like we've just about finished up the sunflower harvest for this field. Oh yeah, we can get the rest of this one pass. Let's go ahead and empty this. Booyah, booyah. Yeah, baby. Now how much are we gonna get? I think this thing holds about 30,000. No, this holds not 30,000. How much does this thing hold? Do, 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 um, 20,000. Okay. So, off of one field, we got 15,772, I believe it is. Let's go and turn this off, at least for now. Let's hop in here. Let's take all this back to the main farm. That is great. We're actually getting harvest done. <laughs> I thought it was going to be forever before we got harvest done. But nope. Here we are. Yeah, baby. We've got some pretty cool equipment. Tell you what, I do love the way these tippers look. They are so cool. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, I would use a semi, but getting a semi way back in here, at least, is just absolutely well i say pointless it's not pointless it's silly is what it is so we need there so we've got to go all the way around and dump it off now we do not have anything in our silos right now not a thing i'll show you that whenever we come around this should start dumping straight into the ground grate down here and it is so Check out sunflowers. They are going up right now, and there's nothing else in anything. Oh, yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to head back down. We're going to get this other field done. And I think... And we're going to close this just in case. I just don't want to hit anything going down there. Um, usually, you would you would keep that open and, uh, and keep it out there pretty much the whole time then again you're probably not going about 25 26 miles an hour through a dirt road either <laughs> a little dangerous i go a little fast i like speed speed's fun not not that kind of speed no <laughs> like going fast that kind of speed hey i am backing myself into a corner i'm gonna get this field done and i'll see you in just a second oh yeah we got a little bit more off of this field than we did on the last field, which I thought is very cool. Learned something new about my trailer. Um, the wheels are hydraulically controlled to go in and out. I did not know it up, but that's pretty cool. I like it out. I like it when I can control stuff like that. And it's not like tipping around and everything. It's actually pretty, pretty stable now. We are heading back to see how much we got. I think total, maybe it was definitely more than 30,000, but we really didn't get much more than about 30,000 total off of both fields. And you know, that's okay because it sells for pretty good. Uh, I believe sunflower, I mean, right now it's definitely off season for sunflower and it's still selling for like 2,100. Uh, sunflowers, we want to sell them. Actually, now's not a bad time to sell sunflowers. Just looking at that. Hmm, that might be something that we have to do. It did take us a little while. It's right after noon right now. All right, let's get this pulled back out. This is the old horse. Uh, I believe it's from FS15. It's pretty cool. I like it. I really, really like it. Ooh, young counters are off the charts today. I, uh, I got, I think it's the equivalent of virtually no sleep last night. Uh, I set my alarm for this morning so that I could wake up and get the Welker Farm stuff together for you guys. Uh, that was 100% what was on my mind today. I just wanted to get that done for you as quick as possible. Yeah, let's roll it back in. One thing that does need is washing off bad. It is nasty. Grab this. 
And spray her down. Spray her down. Now, this is a used one. It is not brand new. So, spraying this is not going to make it look new. It's just going to get the dirt off of it. Well, let's get the dirt off of this guy as well. We got to take care of our tractors. If we don't spray them down, then I'm not sure what we're doing. It's also kind of weird having to use two hands right now to do all this. Oh, it's weird, all right. There we go. Let's park this guy up, and then we're going to put the tractor back. And we're going to take a little break for lunch. And then this afternoon, we need to get a little bit more mowing done. Now, the thing about the mowing is the, uh, the mower we had was great because it would allow us to mow and make bales. Well... I don't want to make bales. <laughs> I just want to mow and make the place look nice. That's all I want, man. And so, with that, it's kind of hard to find a mod or an implement that will do that. And I found something. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to have to go through this guy right here. This, I believe just mows and does not do anything else crazy uh, let's go for hmm what color does that massey look like massey come here are you red mm, kind of red Let's try this color, standard working light. Don't need a working light. Let's go with that. Okay. Let's grab our Massey. And first off, I'm going to change these wheels. These wheels kind of look ridiculous on here. They, yeah, it's, it's fine. But, ooh, first person I forget. It'll make you a little sick if you're not careful in this tractor. <laughs> Let's do it anyway. I like first person. It looks cool. Ah! My butt's clear. Wait, what? <laughs> Customize. Drum brakes. Disc brakes. Drum brakes are fine. Narrow tires. Wide tire. Standard. Let's go with the wide tire. How does this look? Okay, that looks a lot more like a tractor. A real tractor. And next, we want to find the implement that we just bought. And reset it. Now, where is it? That's it. Says it only needs 23 horsepower. We'll be the judge of that whenever we start to use it. It is early autumn. If you are curious, if you haven't looked up and seen that yet. And this grass is already back full grown again. We just, I feel like it was just the last episode that we cut this grass. We're gonna have to do it again. We gotta cut the grass, make it look nice. Oh, this is big. Oh no, it's no, no, it works. So the other mower would only do two meters. This does three meters. Now let's see if it does what I want it to do. Oh my gosh. We are going like a mile an hour. Legit. What happens if I raise it? We're not going any faster. Oh my gosh. So, does it literally just allow us to go one mile an hour? Is this for real right now? Is this for real? Or is it just the fact that Hang on, let's let's look. Uh it says I've got 13 miles an hour. Okay, raise it up. No, it's not working. Is it the tractor that I've chosen that's making it go one mile an hour? Is that because it very well could be. I know it's a very heavy implement. Let's, uh... Let's try one of the larger tractors. See if that makes a difference. Well... It... It goes super slow for like a second. And then just takes off. 
Look at this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And, and I couldn't tell you why it does that. But that's kind of weird, right? Unless it's not a pull, it's a push. But that doesn't make any sense either. I will say, though, this tractor, much better choice for this implement. It is working so much better. Getting stuff taken care of, getting everything mowed up around the edges. Let's give it a try from the front and see if that's any better. Again, I can't guarantee that it will be. I'm just trying stuff out. All right, it's attaching and it's turning on. And there's a bale. Gosh, goodness gracious. So this is working. I guess because it is a mulcher, so it would work. It is working, and the speed is working just fine. Huh. Okay. Well, yeah, it's a little weird this, with the, the speed and all, but... We're getting the yard mode, at least. So that's a good thing. Cool. Well, if you would be so kind as to give me a moment to mow my yard <laughs> and start and stop and start and stop, I'll see you in a moment. I do have to say, not my first recommendation for a mower. It works. Uh-oh. <laughs> it works and it it does what it's supposed to do uh, it's a little power hungry and there is no way that little tractor could handle this thing at all run put it away anyway I mean I'm gonna keep it but I spent money on it put that away we've got something we need to do I found a bale <laughs> and as silly and as goofy as it may seem to say yeah I really need to take that bell back um just cause like you know we have it and stuff that's exactly what we need to do we need to get this other bell and we need to get it sold I don't know if hay bells degrade with weather uh, I know that straw does, and I know that grass does, but I don't know if if that does. Oh, there's a little bit, just a little bit. Let's just run it over. There we go. Yeah. Now that's how you mow right there by running it over. Here we go. Let's, let's go in first person here. Get a little little motion sickness going on. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm too much, I swear. Okay, where is the hay? Oh, forgot the brakes suck. Let's drop that off. Where's our truck? Where's the truck and where's... The... Close that up. And let's close that up. Here's our truck. Okay, let's back up. And let's go find this bale. I think I remember where it was. It's driving the grass a little bit, be all right. There it is. It was hiding. I'm not sure how well or how it was hiding, but boy, oh boy, it was. Let's go ahead and put it back here. There we go. And strap it down. And let's make our way to the barn. Here we are. Yes. Pull in here. There we go. And sell the bale. Bam. $64. Nice. Worth it? I think it was. Let's go and remove the straps. There we go. Always good to strap down the load. You never know what's going to happen. Now, we came from our left. There's all those cars. What, are, what is wrong? Are you okay? Let me hit you. Is there a person in there? Um, hello! <laughs> Sucks to suck, doesn't it? Alright, 
we came from the store and so let's go this way. oh gosh we're all over the place let's go back this way i believe yes 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 now we could go through the woods and oh, but I think the truck would probably get stuck somewhere back there. So we're not even going to try it. Though I kind of want to. No, 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 no. Let's head back to uh, let's head back to the farm and you know, I've got I got something I want to show you. There is a traveling uh I don't want to say salesman or circus or something like that. I'm trying to make the let's play work. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm trying to make the storyline work. There is a famous farmer from Montana. And he has a famous sprayer that he built. And he is bringing it around to show off to local farmers and he wanted us to be one of the ones that got to see it so what we're gonna do is exactly that we're gonna see it and he said if we're cool we might even get to demo it which would be awesome and here she is the big brute from Welker Farms, Nick Welker, has been bringing her around and showing her off to many farmers all around the country. And he wanted us to get a first-hand look at her. So we can use her. He just dropped her off and took off. I don't know. There you go. Is that believable? <laughs> uh, so we do not get to keep it, but we do get to drive it. So he said we had to pay for our own fertilizer. I think we're going to start with maybe a thousand. Oh, I don't know. No, we'll, we'll put 2,000. Uh, we'll put 2,000 liters in. There we go. Let's take her down. We've got two fields that we just got done. Normally, I would not put. Wow, this thing flies. Well, slow down. Normally, I would not put liquid fertilizer down on a field right after it's been harvested. However, since we've got this, and we're going to use it real quick, <laughs> uh, it is not going to take long. Now, one thing I have noticed is that this does not destroy your crop. So, you see we're driving across this grass right now? No lines. You can see where I've driven earlier, but not with this. How cool is this thing that he just let us use it? Man! No, actually, this is a black sheep modding mod, and uh, and I just kind of wanted to use it. <laughs> there you go. Now, how believable is that? We have a 33 meter working width, which means that this field should be done... Uh, in two passes, it looks like. Gosh! You think it's going to take two passes? I do. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Start back here. See if we can get the, the entire field. And we're stuck. Come on. Really? You had to get stuck, didn't you? Let's do it again. There we go. Now this thing flies. It goes nine miles an hour, or you know, is modded to go nine miles an hour, which is so cool. It can't be just me. This thing looks a little bit out of place on this map, doesn't it? It it just doesn't fit. It doesn't fit the build, <laughs> as it were. Uh, though it is super cool and and i'm going to absolutely enjoy using this on the welker farms map it's just a bit out of place here but it's not going to stop us from using it tee hee tee hee tee hee it uh it's got a big old engine uh it's like four or five hundred horsepower 
It has working width, like, like I said, of 33 meters. It will hold um, about 6,500 liters of liquid fertilizer, I believe. So perfect for large field applications and that kind of thing. Uh, funny enough, the tank on this guy is much smaller than the tank on the real life version is, which I find kind of interesting. It's fine, I care less, but just uh, an observation. Okay, we could do that in one pass, definitely. Let's swing around real quick. The sound of this is just incredible. It is just a just a hearty <laughs> Mr. Growly over here. It's really cool. <laughs> so if you have not, uh, make sure you do so. Make sure you pick pick this guy up and use it for you know let's play or or whatever whatever you got going on. Make sure you try it out. At least at least test it out. Some people may say no, it's it's not a real piece of piece of kit. I don't care to use it. It's gimmicky. Yeah, yeah, it is. That's why it's so cool. Come on, man. Come on, man. What do you guys think of the Big Brute? I think the Big Brute is super cool, super awesome. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. Dig it, dig it. <laughs> All right. We got one more field to get done with this. And then we're going to be all done. So I think that's where we're going to call it today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like. Uh, your support is just absolutely incredible. We've just hit 300 subs. And we are just... We are super kicking right now. More so than I thought we ever would. We hit... Uh, it took about three months to... No, don't hire a worker. It took about three months to go from no subs to 100 subs. It took one week to go from 100 to 200. And now it's taken us two weeks to go from 200 to 300. Let's see if we can get 400 subs in the next week. What do you guys think? That's a uh, challenge I'm sending out to you guys. Let's see if we can get 400 subs in the next week. Remember, the more subs we get, the more money I'm going to be giving away. I'm giving away an extra $10 for every sub that we get so at 100 subs I gave away a $10 gift card Amazon gift card at 200 subs I gave away a $20 Amazon gift card and you use Amazon you can get you can buy anything with Amazon card this week this Friday actually tomorrow when this video is releasing I'll be giving away a $30 Amazon gift card and we're doing live stream we'll be live stream on Welker Farms don't worry Oh, yeah, you know we're going to be on Walker Farms. So, guys, that is going to be the video. Like I said, drop a like if you enjoyed. If you have not already, please subscribe. Let's see if we can get up to 400 subscribers by next weekend. So, that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace. <laughs>